All right, so it's a new day. Um, I don't remember what I was doing yesterday. All right, so anyway, today we're gonna finish painting the rivets, or at least try to. There's a whole bunch. I tried a few different methods of how to get them to tape off correctly. So I tried just literally taping each one. After about 30 or 45 minutes, I kind of just got fed up with that. Uh, the second try of what I was going to do was tape like around like that, just the inside and outside, and then tape off each of it and put wax in between, because then you could just rub the wax off at the end. But what I decided to go with, which, let's see if that'll focus there. So half of these are primed, but what I went with is the little cardboard thing that I created, which I think is actually kind of cool. It is, boom. Turn this around again. It's just a little cardboard with a hole in the end. I cut that out, but I'm gonna make a new one and drill it out just so it's a better hole and I don't have as much overspan the rivets. But yeah, so just do that, then put it in, do a quick squirt of the primer, and that works just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, build a new one, and then we'll just get back to spraying. Boom, there you go. Looks like just a generic granola box thing. But, but that's all it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and just set the camera up and go ahead and get Penny some of the wheels. All right, so I've been painting them up. I took a quick break because the only problem I have is that there's a little bit, let's see if you can focus it on I'll zoom in. A little bit of overspray, you can see just those drops. That's not from, not from the hole not being right, the hole's great, but it's, there's a little paint getting on that bottom, right under there. That's my focusing face, trying to get that a look. But there's a little paint on the bottom of the hole, so it's kind of just leaking through after, you know, 20 or so rivets. So I'm gonna take a break, and I really like tire lettering, so I wanna try to just get some tire lettering on. One of my friends told me about a hack using whiteout, and I'm all for cheap tires, or cheap tire lighting, and also my tires are getting here worn out, so I don't want to spend the money for tire stickers just if I'm gonna replace them. So I'm gonna go and get some tire white on and see what happens. Change of plans, not doing the tire white. I'm missing one very important thing that I need to do that. That's the white out, so I don't have any white out, so just gonna skip that for now. Get back to working on the coilovers. So I just said coilovers because I'm watching a video and they just took out coilovers. I went back to the wheels. So I'm not going to film any more of the wheels for you. Maybe I'll, I'll film a little bit when we do the color part, but right now it's just a lot of starting and stopping. Um, other things I need to do, so I still need to finish up that back. I'm going to, I'm not sure I'll get back to you. I'm going to go take a look at the car and then come back and give you a quick update of what we're going to do. So I've been playing around with the rivets a little more and trying to paint them and it's just honestly becoming a bit of a pain at this point because uh, that cardboard's getting worn out, it doesn't want to fit right. I know there's probably better ways to do it, maybe I should just take the time to tape it. But I have one more idea I'm going to try. I'm going to try pulling the rivets. Uh, the reason I just didn't do this to start is because I messaged ESR over Instagram to see, hey, are these rivets something you could pull out? And they said no because since these aren't actually three-piece wheels, uh, there's plastic rivets that are popped in, so the only way to get them out is they said take pliers and yank them out, but at that it'll crush them and you gotta, gotta put new ones on. So I'm just gonna try to be careful. Um, I do have the design up right here. I pulled up the shop. So it looks like it's just, they're just pressure, pressurized. I don't know if that's the right word for it. They're just, they're in there with friction is pretty much all I'm trying to say. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try on a couple, see if I can gently squeeze them out. This may take a bit of, time but right now I guess the whole thing is taking time but I'm um, gonna give that a shot and then if that doesn't work then it's just onto the suspension. All the inner core piping will fit behind the bumper everything will bolt up to the stock mount. Ha ha! So Sorry. That, we will go I pull them. Start and can I put them back in? in? Yes! That's a freaking win. Okay. Hype Nation. I'm gonna go ahead and continue pulling every single rivet. So I just finished pulling all the rivets. I was lied to ESR. Now they're out, I think I realized that my voice is changing every time I talk. So, that's dumb. But, yeah, there's 40 rivets. That's one wheel, three more to go. Oh yeah, my hand's getting a little tired. I mean, after just doing those four. So, you know these ones that I primed? Waste of time. 
that's good to know. So back to it. So I just finished pulling all the rivets. Um, I was lied to ESR, but now they're out. I think I realized that my voice is changing every time I talk. So that's dumb. But yeah, there's 40 rivets. That's one wheel. Three more to go. Oh yeah, my hand's getting a little tired. I even after just doing those four. So you know these ones that I primed? Waste of time. Well, it's good to know. So back to it. All right. So I have my rivets there in a bowl. I got my drill. Have my drill bit, and I got a bunch of cardboard. So what I'm going to do is there are a hundred and sixty rivets in there. So I'm going to do rows of ten. I'm going to see if I can do rows of 15, and then, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to drill out 160 holes and put these all in. So, enjoy the show. I know I was working on the back before, trying to finish up that back end, and then I kind of switched and took the wheels off. I think I'm just going to focus on the wheel wells for now, because I do have a good amount of work. This is actually, um, aside from the body work and changing the color, this is the biggest thing that I need to get done. So things I need to do is, well, starting off with the coils, I need to adjust my coils. The thing was, when I first bought my car, I was honestly, I was that immature car kid who kind of just put the coils on and put them on without knowing anything. So. <laughs> They're actually all at different heights because I'm such an idiot. So what I need to do is I need to pull the back two coilovers. Um, the fronts are actually fine, which is great. I'm pretty sure the fronts are fine. I, th I think the fronts are fine. I think I mentioned those and they're good. They're not clapping. So that's great. But the backs I need to take off and I need to realign them and measure them and just make sure they're all even. And It's a pain because the back ones I adjusted twice and the back ones are the worst because they're just like a half millimeter off from being an easy sliding in and slide out. Anyway, so I got to take the coilovers off. Yeah, I don't want to do that, but it's got to be done, so we'll do that. And I think I said yesterday I need to paint that red because it needs to be red. Um, I need to seal all this up, so I'm using actually just expanding foam in this area so I don't have to build a specific thing, which is working great. I just haven't finished because once you start a can, it's kind of weird to stop because then it fills itself. So yeah, there's that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead see if there's anything. I also have to change my brake lines though I'm probably gonna wait for a friend to come over to do that because one I've never done it before two it's easier with two people so yeah but I do have steel braided brake lines that I would like to get on because my front ones are starting to get worn out I mean they're 32 years old at this point so yeah um jum to jum let's see let's start by okay not entirely sure yet. I'm going to say let's start with taking off the coils. Um, I'm going to be running back and forth and painting the wheels inside, the rivets inside, and taking out the coils because I think what I will do is we'll get as much space as we can in here by taking out the coils, then, then I'll wait. I don't want to fill that just yet because I think there's some spots in the front that I need to fill as well. And like I said, once you start using you can, you kind of got to use it all at once. So yeah, let's just let's start with taking out the coils, take out the coils. Get them all evened out, get them back on. Yeah, I have the measurements out, so let's go and do that. Let me shut up and we'll get that going. All right, so just quick little dive in while we're doing this. Uh, for anyone who has a Supra as well, like me, and you're a genius because you have one, in order to take out the suspension, you just need, you need a 3 4 inch wrench and a 19 mil socket that I have on there. And that's really all it is for the rears if you're just doing the bottom. Um, aside from the three bolts on top that we're not worrying about, um, it's just the three quarters on this, put the three quarters on this side, 19 on this side, unscrew, and it should pop right out. Though, something you wanna do, and I'm gonna grab really quick, is grab a jack stand for underneath here to support this up, because uh, if it drops, you don't want it pulling on the brake line. It shouldn't, but just to be safe, let's do that. Awesome, we got that out of there. Uh, you saw me hitting it with a hammer because as I said before, this is 
just like a half millimeter too tight, so it's gonna be a pain in the half to get back in. But as you can see, uh, there's really not much room to lift it up. So my guess is we're gonna lift it up all the way, um, or lower it all the way. But the weird things, actually, I think I can show you on the front. So you saw there's like maybe a quarter of an inch to lower it. Look on the front, and this a good two inches that you could lower this. And the front is actually <laughs> lower than the back by probably near two inches. So I'm gonna lower the back to try to even it out. Of course I scrape, I have a low car, that's just a me thing. But I'm gonna lower the back in hopes of raising the front up just a bit. And if I check the other side really quickly, I kinda wanna see where it's at. Yeah, so this is what I was figuring. Just the right side's just a little bit off. So um, I'm gonna go double check my measurements. I already have them written down, but they're on my phone. So I'm gonna go check them, see how much I need to lower it. And my guess is we're just gonna be lowering it all the way. So I uh, will get back to you in just a second. So I checked and it was lower it um, pretty much all the way. It said lower it a quarter inch on each side and that's just all the way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop out this one strut right here. Just go ahead and take it out, lower it the rest of the way and then I'm just gonna jump and do the other side. And I don't think I'll film the other side just to keep this video a little shorter and less boring for you guys. So look, let's go ahead and drop it down. And boom, there you go. Uh, probably one of the quickest strut adjustments there is. Uh, nice thing about old cars is they're pretty stinking simple. So I'm gonna hit the other side. Uh, I think I will just put it on time lapse and then if I don't want it, I'll take it out. So let's just get the other side knocked out. All right, so that's it. Both sides are dropped for maximum lowness, which is freaking dope. So uh, next up is brakes. Brakes. I'm gonna paint the calipers red because I'm in a painting mood doing the lugs and the rivets. So might as well get the calipers. So let's go ahead and clean those up and then tape those off and get them done. All right, so we're back and I'm gonna do, or I don't know if we ever left, but. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna be painting the brake calipers. I'm not gonna do a how-to video on this. I'm probably just gonna set it up the camera and go because there's, there's enough fails out there already. So, I figure one more. Don't need it. So, I'm just gonna clean them up, degrease them, wipe them down, tape them off, and then spray them just the same way we're doing the rivets and lug nuts and everything else. So I finished up painting the rivets. Got milk on my face. But let me just give you guys a quick look at them really quickly. Uh, it's showing up a lot brighter than it actually is. That's a pretty dark red or a nice deep cherry red. I did the lug nuts as well. I don't know if you guys saw me doing those. But I threw them in because it's like, oh shoot, I need to do these the exact same color. So now it's just a good enough time. All right, I finished up painting the calipers and I think they look really good in my opinion. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and rip off the tape and stuff and you'll get that first reveal. Oh, look at that red. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Let's see that. Okay. It's a bit harder to do with one hand than I thought it'd be. All right, yeah, I'll get the other part later, but just look at that. Look at that red. Man, I wish the camera didn't show it so bright. It's that nice, deep, dark cherry red. And then back, whoo! That looks good. So that's really where I'm gonna end it today, guys. Um, this is a good day, it was a good day. I got the calipers red, I got the rivets. Oh, I popped my neck. So red there, calipers, what I was saying, saying rivets, and then the lug nuts are also red. So that's awesome, that's awesome, it's a good day. And I lowered the suspension, forgot about that. I just kind of want to paint the suspension red, but you know, 
I'm probably gonna hold off on that for now. Unless I decide not to hold off on it, then I will not hold off on it. But <laughs> that's that for now. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave your hit, comments, dislike, and subscribe, do the works. Bye.